Sunday Boho was in exile all along Buhari's time. When the Yoruba man came, agitation subsided, according to Sheikh Gumi. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. Popular Yoruba right activist Sunday Adeyema, also known as Igbuho, was exiled during Muhammad Buhari's administration, according to Kaduna based Islamic scholar and public affairs analyst Sheikh Ahmed Gumi. However, his agitation stopped when Buhari, when President Bola Tanumbu took office. You know, I'm trying to see where he's going with this because I am still hearing noises about agitation from the southwest. The news in detail, please. The Sun reported that Sheikh Ahmad Gumi stated this in an exclusive interview. Recall that Sunday Ibuho, who was in exile in Benin Republic for many months, has been released and travelled out of the country. Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, who is known for his outspokenness while speaking about the recent development in Kaduna State, said, and I quote, See how the governor of Anambra State, Charles Saludo, went to see Namde Kano and spoke to him. So the government delegated some Igbo leaders to pacify the situation. He added, Sunday Ibuho was in exile all along Buhari's time. When a Yoruba man came, agitation subsided. So if Igbo could deal with their problem and Yoruba could deal with their problem, then we in the North can deal with our problem. He stated further, we can deal with it. Unfortunately, during the past administration, Buhari failed because he had a personal problem. He was not listening. The extrajudicial killings were worst during Buhari's time. Our people told me that they have never suffered bloody attacks like during Buhari's time. Many called Buhari Baba Goslo. The recent statement by Sheikh Ahmad Gumi, which was shared by the Sun on its various social media platforms, have generated a lot of reactions from many Nigerians. You know, at the end of the day, I did not see the point he made. I think this was just extract from the interview they had with him, they don't give us the full details. Because if you are talking about, I was just looking and saying, okay, what did this man want to talk? Because I know that this man is always coming out to cry on behalf of the so-called terrorists. That is what he's known for. So when I was saying, okay, I saw, I saw a Yerama came and the agitation subsided. I was, my ear was down. Did he want to speak? But this man won't speak on behalf of the Southeast. <laughs> I won't say even Southeastern as in go say, oh God, keep your talk. Because this man is known for his outspokenness only to favor the terrorists. So now, is he still in that direction? I even think saying one young better to know. To be sincere. <laughs> now he's saying, eh, Buhari did not do this. You, Uncle, you never try. You have been pleading for these people for the past eight years, eight solid years, and you're still pleading for them. And at the end of it, everything happened. They get worse. <laughs> he is not tackling the root problem. Can somebody tell this Sheikh Ahmed Gumi that if he wants his people to be free, you should start telling them the truth? Yes, allow education to come in the north, first of all. Allow the northerners to have education. Teach them that education is not haram. Teach them that knowing things that, you know, knowledge is not haram. It is what you now do with this knowledge that is haram. Teach them the truth. Teach them the things that are contained in the, what's it called, in the Quran. Teach them how to read the Quran. Let them know. Don't read it to them. Teach them how to read the Quran. So that they will see that those things there, they can, you know, interpret it by themselves that, yes, see waiting in the Quran talk for here. No, be safe. See waiting this person say the Quran talk. Come outside and be open to them. I keep saying it. The day they not accept education, and not just education of books, education of the mind, teach them to be open-minded that this life is not one way. 
This life is not one way because we will jump go slow for road if you follow one way. If you decide, say you one day for one way, for one place, you will be stuck. As a human being, you have to be versatile. Yes. So coming out to say this one, if not be like this, any other play, any other type of way, na reaching the call haram problem for you. You remain stuck. It will be as if those people will grow frustrated and they'll go tired. Sheikh Gome, your aims and objectives can never be achieved. The clone called Buhari, who has no primary six certificate, promised you a jihad if the Lao Tzu Jonathan refused to hand over. But when the Lao Tzu Jonathan saw death and Nyanya bombings, he cowardly handed over his generation lineage to his enemies, and that is what the whole nation is suffering now. I know that Ebora himself, unbeatable mafiaso, Ekun Obonta, Jagunlabi Yampion, Twale Father, wouldn't have handed over to the clone Buhari. Who is this person the hell like this? <laughs> who is this person the hell? Uh, because the whole BJ, have you, who is the hell? Okay. Or is it uh, Tunubi in the hell? Because I don't know. You are the speaker of the terrorist assembly during Buhari's time. Fulani like you. He did not arrest you, he did not jail you. Now you want to cause crisis through your reckless utterances. Nigeria will be glad to see you in prison. Which prison? See this man, eh? In in this thing, in uh, same countries, this man no go see sunlight until he turn and wear no sinje. Then go so hold on, press a neck. Ha. Then go hold on, press a neck. Prison go even better. He go they even tell say, me they can't go prison because the place where he go day. He no go, go get anything. He no go get anything else to do than to come outside, say the truth. And the thing is, we were fine not hearing from him anymore. He decided to come outside again. I don't know people they even interview him in the first place. Come outside, come talk again. We were really fine not hearing from him. We were doing well. Eh? He's anytime when he come outside like this, he they be like say the thing won't worse. I hope say no waiting at the thing go. Okay. His own is better that he's only an agitator, freedom fighter for his people. But what of you that you are Boko Haram, full and herdsmen, and kidnappers, father, uncle? Okay. Oh. I said that this man, Gumi, is a lunatic. He doesn't have the interest of Nigeria. He does not have anything good. Like I said, the Northerners, they will come to their senses. One day be one day. See, one day be one day. The truth cannot be covered forever. If the it will do take the truth erupting like a volcano in the north, and the northerners will see for themselves the people they have been calling their leaders, their religious leaders and their traditional leaders. That time, I then go use the hand give those people the sentence. Because just the year they watch, go year the way they they listen to scores from whatever we did. Then when they don't do finish, they will come say so all this while, in a talk say these people make no mingle with them. See them be do this one. Me why not? I'm the enemy. That time, I just pray it is not too late. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.